snub or banned? Sussexes returns again, unraveling their dirty plot after Jubilee, huge event coming. Royal fans, before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. A royal expert has told Express.co.uk, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry would not miss certain royal family events which will likely mark their next return to the UK. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex journeyed to London for the Platinum Jubilee celebrations earlier this month, bringing with them their two children, Archie and Lilibet. But they kept a low profile across the weekend and quickly made their way back across the pond as the celebrations wrapped up. Royal family branding expert, Professor Selle Ottens, said there were two elements that could determine when the Duke and Duchess returned to Harry's home turf. The first factor will be whether their ventures pan out in America, but the second will be which significant royal family events crop up. And there are some huge events that they would almost certainly attend, including the Queen's funeral. Professor Ottens told Express.co.uk that she can't imagine they would miss the coronation of Prince Charles, any funerals or coronations. She added, if they do, they are saying, not only do we not really want to be in the royal family, we don't even really want to be in the family. And those are two different issues. But she made the caveat that any significant return on the part of the Duke and Duchess will depend greatly on the relationship between Prince Charles and Prince Harry. She continued that Meghan and Harry showed they are unwilling to be part of the official royal family during their recent return for the Platinum Jubilee, but that did not necessarily mean an estrangement. She explained, they understood they were going to show up as family members, and not royal family members. Prince Harry, 37, and Meghan, 40, said ahead of their return that they were excited and honored to make the journey back for the historic celebrations. But they only undertook one official engagement throughout the weekend, appearing at the service of Thanksgiving at St. Paul's Cathedral on June 3. There have been reports that the Duke and Duchess met with Prince Charles with hopes of reconciliation, which quickly became perfunctory. Royal commentator Christopher Anderson told the Royally US podcast, well, I understand that it was a perfunctory meeting and that there was no real breakthrough. And I have a feeling that Prince Harry definitely went there hoping for some sort of rapprochement, but there were no touchy-feely vibes coming back in his direction. So, I think the curtain has come down. And one of the things I think is so sad about this is Diana, were she alive today, would be heartbroken by this. She would have understood why Harry would have wanted to make his own life and wanted to go to California. It is thought that the trip was the first opportunity for Prince Charles to meet his granddaughter, Lilibet, who turned one over the Jubilee weekend. A source told The Mirror back in January, the Prince of Wales has been saddened that he hasn't had the opportunity to spend time with his grandchildren, which he really does miss. They added, he is a fantastic grandfather and loves playing the role immensely and it's certainly fair to say he feels there is something missing from his life without the ability to get to know Harry's children. Thanks for watching, please, share your thoughts in the comment, thanks.